How's it for you to bring this to life, the life of a real life superhero? I mean, I'm glad you think that because that's how I feel about Brian Stevenson. I, I've never met a man who was, has, has truly dedicated his entire life to the most vulnerable people in our society. Um, the people that we all so easily ignore and overlook. Um, he, he has decided to spend literally every day of his life doing whatever it takes to fight for them. And that to me is the definition of a superhero. You're dealing with very big topics, the death penalty, mass incarceration, telling a very specific contained story, but at the same time, honoring those bigger issues and, and the victims of those problems. I mean, I think that's the, the brilliance of, of Brian Stevenson and his work is he, when, when he is talking about his work, either through his book or when he's on stage talking, he, he does it all through story and characters that are so easy to relate to. Um, I, I think he, he helps remind us all that that the people that we are forgetting about who are behind these bars are, are, are people who could so easily be one of us or one, one of our friends. Um, Brian really believes that how we treat the most vulnerable in our society re is a reflection on all of us. And I, I, I've really grown to believe that as well. Can you talk about working with the actors before those very intense scenes you know, music played a big role in, in uh, the preparation of, of a lot of these actors. Um, Michael B. used music, uh, Jamie Foxx used music a lot, um, Rob Morgan as well, whether it was just themselves listening to certain things that, um, that got them into the character and the mindset. Um, sometimes they would play it on set. Um, it, it was kind of all up to them how they wanted what they wanted to use to get into the scene. Getting out of the scene was typically Jamie Foxx just cracking jokes, <laughs> um, which he was doing pretty much the entire time, which was great. It was really wonderful. I can see that. I also see kind of a parallel between you and filmmakers like Ryan Coogler that they come from the, the indie scene and you, you tell very human stories that tackle on, on bigger issues and they have the opportunity to work on, on a bigger canvas, like a superhero movie. Do you see a potential with Shang-Chi that uh, he had with Black Panther to do something that goes beyond just entertainment? I mean, I think anything that I, I uh, am tackling is, you know, I, I hope that there is an element to it that goes beyond entertainment. For me, I don't, I don't ever uh, watch movies purely just for entertainment. Um, I hope that there's some something in every movie that I see that I can take and apply to my own life. Sometimes it's as simple as, oh, that movie made me want to call my grandma and, and tell her hi. Um, and I think that's a, a really beautiful part of, of filmmaking. Any chance to see your routine with Brie Larson in the MCU? Uh, I would. I would love that to happen. I'm not sure when it will, but I would love that to happen. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>